And now, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. 15 and a half pounds, everything. <clears throat> I love the AT. Oh, so much trail magic is everywhere, just in the air. Yo, so I just left Dick's Creek Gap. You know, thanks to Gordon and his gal running the uh, around the Bend Hostel. Got to chill pretty hard at the hostel today, and got shower and laundry in. Ate some leftover spaghetti and meatballs. Packed out a half pound of ground beef. Someone left uh, or kicked down some avocado, green bell peppers. I'm gonna have me a little fajita action. And I got two, two tortillas, so. And Taco Bell hot sauce. As you can see, the cold front's coming in. Clouds are overhead. Should have rain about noon o'clock. I should be able to get pretty close. We will see uh, if it does come down pretty hard or not. I'll look back at y'all. Here with Buck and Jelly Bean, they came through with cold beverages. Look at that. Deli Sammy, that's Buck, Jelly Bean. Thank you, man. I appreciate hey, it so much. Well. Yeah! One state down, many more to go. Safety meeting time. Feels good. I think this is the sassafras climb. Man, the eighth heat don't fuck around with these climbs. They are straight up. No equestrian grade around here. <laughs> you know, I really have been uh, digging the AT and I'm glad I saved it for the last because now I actually have a comfortable fast pace or fairly fast. Not as fast as a lot of the other hikers I've hiked with or that passed me on the CDT. And, um, you know, it makes the food carries a lot easier being able to pack a day, two days tops, two and a half, maybe three. So I've really been digging the uh, convenience of resupply options. But I am headed down to Muscarat or Musk, Muscarat. Uh, shelter, I'll hold it back. In the National Forest, you know, as I'm getting further north, I imagine I should start seeing some damn bear scat. I really want to see what the black bears look like out here, how big. I saw some really big, like 350, 400 pounder, I kid you not, black bears in Colorado. Um, some pretty big grizzlies in Montana. So I'm just curious. A lot of the uh, creatures out here look a, a wee different. And it's uh, definitely something to appreciate when you catch a glimpse. Muscarat shelter. 
did like uh, I've gone like 10, 12 ish miles. I'm gonna bust another 12 and a half to I forgot the name, but another 12 and a half miles. It's like one o'clock now. And uh, it's starting to get a little chilly. You can definitely feel the cold front coming in. But it doesn't look like it's gonna rain that hard for a few hours. I'll holler back at y'all. There's some fat chicks down that way. <laughs> nah, it's the blue blaze if you wanna cut off. Like uh, 27 miles, you can hike yonder. 16, 17 miles. So it's starting to rain a little bit. This is drizzling. But uh, it's pretty humid, so. Plenty warm. Right, it's a little after six, moving. Beautiful sunrise. Got some clouds nestled in the valleys. Beautiful shit. I thought there were no views on the AT, right? According to the fear monger. Phew! Ended up doing 16 point whatever yesterday. Got to a shelter and it started coming down real hard. The wind was fucking kicking at least 40 plus, 50 plus. It was pretty quick. Um, just uh, making my way over Hawk, uh, or no, making my way over Standing Indian Mountain. sunrise see it pays to get up early build that discipline your first month you'll see plenty of critters early morning look at that fucking sunrise it's like some some tangerine sherbet beautiful Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, bears. I got a can of anchovies. I should crack them open and see what I see what I find today. Betty Creek Gap. Betty Creek Gap. All right, moving along. Got like uh, 
2.7 to get to the 100 mile mark. Uh, that's a big like water tower. Legendary little photo op spot. But I have met a handful of hikers. I've met uh, Joe Baby, Ruby, Alec, Alex. Uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Matt? Or. I forgot, another dude with a kilt, looks identical to my buddy Fire. And um, sun is out, bluebird day. No rain, it is forecasted later, but I don't see it happening until later tonight. Oh shit. Do that 11 more times. Oh, so I'm like 14 point whatever in. I got about 8.8 .8 left to the road crossing to Franklin, North Carolina, and um, making some pretty decent time. Was out on trail by 6.30, it's 12 o'clock now, 12.07, and uh, there we'll be meeting some buddies, big old group of people, a nice little bubble, and uh, it would be nice to oh, socialize with some people. I guess we got a cabin, pitch in, 10 people, and, uh, well, it is up. Um, it is 28 and I am 20 miles in. 20 point something. And I got 3.3 left to make it up over this next hill. And I'll be at Winding Stair Gap. Last little hill. Good umbrella. And now, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, 